the internet is a is a huge resource these days and something that was not around uh, years ago. Um, Kelly Blue Book um, online you can pull up the exact Blue Book value of your car, put the actual mileage in, all the options, and you can see three different values. You can see a trade-in value, a private party sale value, and a retail price, which you would see to buy it for at a at a dealer's lot. Um, that is probably the best source, the most objective source to look and see what your car is really worth. In talking about car value and car uh, worth you know, on trade-in, I think it's, it cannot be stressed enough the importance of maintaining your vehicle and also recognizing that if you have not maintained your vehicle well, you can't expect to get top dollar for your trade. On the other side, if, if you've got a relationship with a dealer who you've been doing the, your service work with and your maintenance work with, you can expect to get good money for your trade. Um, I think that is the key and that's the thing a lot of people miss. Of course, everybody thinks their car is worth and needs it to be worth as much as it can be worth, but the way to get that money is to maintain it and, and keep it up and keep it clean and nice uh, while you own the vehicle so then you can reap those rewards when you get ready to trade it in or sell it on your own. Well, to keep the car serviced you know, every three or 5,000 miles depending on what type of vehicle you have, um, you keep the tires rotated, keep it clean. Uh, it, it, that seems like a, a a no-brainer, but I appraise a ton of cars every day, and, and you'd be surprised the amount of cars I see that are just that the people know they're going to trade their car, and they're bringing in absolutely with with junk all inside of it, and 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 everything, and that really decreases the value of your car because I'm trying to picture it on my lot and realize how much work I have to do, and also to say, hey, well, I might not know these these people, might not know if they came to our shop, but if they haven't kept their car up in cleanliness, it's pretty safe to say they probably haven't kept it up mechanically either. Also, if, if you're a smoker, try as best you can not to smoke in your car. Uh, that odor is, is extremely difficult to get out and it makes your car less marketable to people with allergies and that type of thing. Um, and that all plays into, into your trade value.